Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and welcome to your first machine learning tutorial series on Brain Temple. And uh, in this tutorial series, I wish to be taking you through the machine, the entire machine learning course series, topic by topic as they come. And I don't recommend that you take this as your official machine learning training tutorial series, but take it as a complement to whatever um, official references you're using to learn machine learning. All right, so thank you very much for joining us in this series. I will, I will try to break down this course into very simple and easy to understand um, topics, okay, with local examples that will help you understand. Then we'll focus uh, on like 70% on, uh, on the theory and 30% on the practicals, okay? So this is more of a theoretical course so that you get a general overview of it. All right, so as you can see on the screen, um, my name is Dave Partner Ozalo, and um, you can check me out on any social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, using this handle. All right, and um, if you have any questions, don't forget that you can drop it in the comments. And um, first of all, before we start, these are the few things you need to know how to get this video. This video is available on YouTube and uh, on brainten.org, my site. And, um, if you want to contact me for any reason whatsoever, um, here is my email and um, here is my handle on Twitter. You can tweet at me. All right. And um, finally, if you are intending to, here is how to donate. If you want to donate, you just go to patreon.com and the user, that number there is my user ID. Then oh, you just email me. If you don't want to pass through this, um, you just send me an email. All right, are we good to go? So the next thing is what actually is artificial intelligence? Because actually, machine learning is a subtopic under artificial intelligence. All right, and um, if you understand artificial intelligence, understanding machine learning will be easier. So as you can see on the screen right there, uh, machine learning is the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks normally requiring human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, translation between languages. This is very simple. Machine learning is uh, the development. It, it's it's in two parts. For instance, uh, the first one is uh, it's it's a theory. Then it's a development. So which means um, machine learning could just be a main tutorial that like uh, what we are doing right now. Then it can also be a practical, all right? And it uh, involves development of computer systems that, that are able to perform tasks normally requiring human level intelligence, all right? So um, th this is where what makes the distinction from normal tasks or what animals do. So when, if a human being is able to develop a system that performs tasks that are normally requiring human level intelligence, then that is um, artificial intelligence. But if you look at the definition of this word, the artificial intelligence, you see that it contains two, uh, two words. Number one is artificial and number two is intelligence. All right, so the artificial you have there is um, man-made. Anything created by man is artificial. It's not naturally occurring. Okay, we have naturally occurring intelligence. Uh, you can find find in certain animals, but in but uh, with computers, humans have been able to create it artificially. Then intelligence here refers to human level intelligence. There are some things that could be called intelligence in animals, some behaviors. Because intelligence involves adapting your behavior to new situations, all right? Some, uh, some animals could adapt and learn. You understand, that, as we'll see further down in this tutorial, what human-level intelligence entails. So it's two words, artificial and intelligence, all right? So a good example of a task, daily task that involves human-level intelligence, for instance, is playing chess. There is no animal that can play chess. So if a human being is able to create something that is wise enough to play chess and even compete and defeat a human, 
that is artificial intelligence. The first time a computer system was able to defeat the world best chess player was in 1997, 1996. It lost the computer lost 1997. It beat the the world best chess player since then uh, it has been flawless victory and recently uh, a computer google's alpha go beat the world's best go player ever you understand all right so um we've done that and then uh, we move on to to what 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 does human level intelligence entail um, some scientists have come to the general um, understanding that human level intelligence involves these five um, things. First of all, learning, ability to learn from situations, experiences, reasoning, uh, you have problem solving, you have perception, you have language understanding. Language understanding involves basically speech, um, sign language, the means of communication. All right. Then the next thing we will check is, um, so what is machine learning? Machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence that provides computers with the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Basically, in machine learning, the computer learns from reading data. So you feed data into a computer, it analyzes that data and comes up with several conclusions, learns a lot about um, from the data it reads. And machine learning offers a computer system or software the ability to grow as you input, as in growing understanding as you input new data. So for instance, if we have, if we feed a computer the, the data of um, the road traffic data in Nigeria, for instance, if we feed a computer this data, after a, a machine intelligent um, learning system, after analyzing this um, data, it will come up with several con conclusions and um, come up with several classifications. It will now know how many Toyota cars are running in Nigeria. The average age um, or average number of years a Toyota car lasts in Nigeria. And uh, it, it will be able to identify different cars, identify roads that have the highest rate of accidents. So from there, it can make predictions, which means if you introduce a new car to it, because the system has analyzed so many cars, it now knows what to expect, how to classify the new car. So if you introduce a new car to it, it will say, hey, this is a Honda car. Because it has analyzed like 5,000 different Honda cars. It will now tell you the car and the year. And these systems exist right now, all right? And um, so in the main thing to note in uh, machine learning is that the computer reads data and um, understands concepts without being explicitly programmed, all right? Okay, so uh, ideally, machine learning is a subfield in computational intelligence, or what some people call soft computing, SOFT, soft computing, all right? Then the, the computational intelligence is now a subfield directly under artificial intelligence, all right? So machine learning is under computational intelligence, Computational intelligence is under um, artificial intelligence. So, um, what is computational intelligence? It's a set of nature inspired computational methodologies and approaches to address complex real world problems to which mathematical or traditional modeling can be useless. You understand, there are some systems that run into trouble if you try to use traditional mathematical um, modeling systems. Um, in computational intelligence, basically, it mainly uh, falls into, mainly it makes use of some um, three main, um, what I may call, um, algorithms. We have stuff like neural networks, we have fuzzy logic, and, um, and so on. So the next thing we check is, um, there is also evolution, evolutionary algorithms there. All right, the next thing we check in um, in machine learning is the applications of machine learning. Many people don't already know that you're, these things already exist and you're already using them in your day-to-day -day life. These smart machine learning systems already exist. For instance, uh, email spam detection. 
um, how does Google or, or Yahoo know which emails are spam and which ones are not? How does it know how to classify e each email? And Google has taken it a step further recently to classify your emails according to social, promotional, and um, importance or something like that. How does how does Google know? There is something that analyzes the data contained in that email and knows where to classify them. And as a result of analyzing millions of emails, and people have been classifying emails as spam, important and stuff over over the years. So the, the computer now knows how to, with say a certain level of certainty, to predict what category this email should be. All right. And the next thing is Google search results. When you search for something on Google, you have so many results pull up. How does Google know which one? Um, how to classify your result? Let's just take a, a quick look. When you come to Google and uh, search, um, let's just search um, machine learning. I search for machine learning on Google and um, it has 24 million, 23 million results. So how does go, how does this system know the first 10 to introduce to you? But you understand, out of 20, 23 million results, it introduces to you um, first 10, then with um, a pagination. So this is machine learning. Um, from over the years, Google already knows how to uh, how to classify your data and find the most important ones to you. All right. So the next one is your Facebook news feed. You may have like one thousand, two thousand friends on Facebook, and every day these people are putting information on Facebook. They're updating their statuses and all the pages you follow, all the groups. The things are happening. How does Facebook algorithm know which one to present? Because it is a whole lot of um, it's a whole lot of problem if it starts pre um, showing you everything. You understand? If, if it starts um, showing you which everything everybody updates, it, it's a whole mess. You understand? So it needs to rearrange it intelligently in a way to show you the, the, the posts that are most important to you. You understand? So it, it judges from your past activities and your friends' activities. Which posts are your closest friends? Um, which posts have they, have they commented on? Which posts have they liked? Which pages have they liked? Which people are they following? So it knows from then, from those clusters, on what to recommend to you. And then which posts have you, um, have you liked in the past or commented in the past? When you comment on someone's post, you start seeing more of that person's post. It means you're interested in that. And each post, the algorithm categorizes each post into a topic. It reads what you wrote and understands what you wrote and then it tries to um, find a topic and then tags you to that topic at the background. So if someone wrote, writes something about religion and you comment about religion, you start seeing more of religious posts, not only from that person, but from um, several other of your friends who write stuff on religion. You understand? So and that's um, machine learning. Then you have um, credit card fraud detection. You have identifying heart failure. There's, a, there's this company, um, startup, that um, what they did was they, they invented an app that uh, when, when there is... Um, when people are having heart attacks or seizures, you know, the, if they're having their phone, the phone starts shaking. So as a result of analyzing data of shaking phones, they can, the, the software now um, understands when the phone is shaking as a result of um, a, a neurological problem like a heart attack or something, or when it's just the normal uh, daily shaking. So when it's shaking as a result of heart attack or something or stroke, what happens is that the phone sends a signal to an emergency signal to the health center, nearest health center. And you can Google it, it's a, it's a new um, startup. All right, um, uh, there's this one of predicting hospital readmissions after analyzing all the text uh, from all your past, all the times you've attended hospital and stuff, you can now predict when you can uh, get to hospital again. All right, so there are so many of them. These are just a few that are listed. And um, machine learning is such a hot cause right now, such a hot cause because in the past, you know, around 2000, early 2000s, um, Google and uh, software companies like Google, Yahoo rose to power 
because the system changed from the traditional way of hardware doing business to software. So they rose to power and then um, and then um, overrode all those um, old model of businesses like um, um, Blockbuster, Starbucks, and stuff like that. So uh, what happened is that in this recent time, that's like 15 years later, 16 years later, um, computers are becoming smarter, and this there's this whole artificial intelligence and virtual reality stuff that is coming up. So new companies need, need to catch up. All these big companies, they have known that, hey, if they don't catch up right now, other smaller companies will key into this and catch up. You understand? So that's why um, artificial intelligence, machine learning, is becoming the order of the day. So it, it's recommended that anybody should get to know these things now that is still a very hot course. Okay, so thank you very much for this first tutorial and staying patient this whole time. And next tutorial will go more, a little more deeper and deeper into practical. And um, if you have not subscribed, make sure that you visit my YouTube channel. And uh, this is just type this on your browser, youtube.com slash C slash brain 10 org. Then you will hit on subscribe on the red subscribe button there so that you can follow my other videos. I've made so many other videos. And then um, don't forget to follow on Twitter and on Facebook. And I'm on Instagram too. All right. So thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.